Hello again everybody, this is Veronica coming to you from Image Bolton Dance Academy. I wanted to offer you another suggestion for your samba practice. Let's discuss the Botafogos. Let's go! Welcome back! So let's get started with our Samba Cross Botafogos. This is a traveling step, so you do want to have a little bit of space for practicing these continually, but you can always just move back if you're limited on your space. So let's take first a look at your steps and patterns and weight change. So you're gonna start first weight on your right. Make sure that that right foot is flat. Then your left foot is slightly to the side of your body and only the ball of the foot is touching the floor. You're going to take a diagonal forward step with your left foot. One, from here. You're going to reach slightly diagonally in front and as you step and, uh, onto the ball of the foot, you rotate and replace the weight back to your left leg. Make sure that you're keeping those diagonal directions. From here, you reach diagonally now with your right foot and you step. Continue to reach in the same direction using only the ball of the foot and as you roll onto it, you're going to replace the weight back to your right. Notice that once you make a step and then you're going to reach with the ball of the foot, you're going to rotate on that ball of the foot at the same time. So let's go ahead and take a side view. I'm going to start again on my right. The left ball of the foot is placed to the side of my body. I identify my diagonal and I take my first step. Left foot forward. Now I continue to reach with the ball of my right foot and as I rock onto it, I change my direction, replacing the weight back to my left leg. Now I have my new dire direction, which is my new diagonal. I'm gonna reach and step with the right foot. I'm gonna transfer my weight. I continue to reach with the ball of the foot of my left. As I rock onto it, I replace my weight back to the right and now creating my new diagonal. So that is the pattern for your cross Botafogo. So now that we have covered the cross Botafogo footwork, let's discuss the timing. So we're gonna use the most frequent timing in Samba, one, a, two. Make sure that your a ah is very short and very quick. All right, so let's take a look with the steps. Place your weight on the right, left foot to the side. First step, we're gonna go one, a, two. So take a notice how short and quick was my rock step with the ball of the right foot. Now I'm back to my left foot and I continue. One, a, two, one, a, two. One, a, two. And let's take a look at the side view. So we start on the right foot again. Left ball of the foot is placed to the side of my body. I go diagonally. One, a, two. One, a, two. One, a, two. One, a, two. So if you run out of space, you want to just back up and start from the beginning. Have fun. All right, so you have done the footwork for your cross Botafogo. You have learned the timing, one and two. So how do we go about to bounce in this step? So I would like you to start on the right foot. Make sure that it is flat and your right knee is slightly flexed. It doesn't have to be deeply bent, okay? Just a nice flex in the knee. The left ball of the foot has to have a little bit of weight on it and a little bit of pressure and tension. So if you're, a lot, if you're able to point the left foot, that is incorrect, okay? I want you to shift a little bit of weight onto that ball of the foot. So before we make a step forward, I'd like you to rise up slightly from your right leg and then as you arrive on your left, make sure you arrive in a flexed knee and make sure that your left foot is flat. 
As you reach forward with the ball of the right foot, you're going to pivot the right toes. And then, ah, chu. Land again in a flexed knee and a flat foot. Repeat that on the opposite side. As you take off from the left leg, you want to come up and then lower onto the right foot with a flexed knee. As you reach diagonally with the left ball of the foot, pivot that step and rock back with your weight towards the right leg. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side view. Starting with the flexed knee and flat foot on your right. Left ball of the foot has a bit of pressure, some weight, it's called partial weight. So, before we move to the first step, we have to take off from your right leg, arriving onto the left, flat foot and flexed knee. Continue to reach with the ball of the right foot. As you rock some weight onto it, rotate the foot to your new diagonal direction. Then you arrive again in a flexed knee and flat, flat foot on your left. So make sure this would be incorrect. You want to make sure that you have this flexed. And you repeat, take off from your left leg, arrive onto your right with the flexed knee, keep reaching with the ball of the foot, and as you rock, you're going to pivot the hip and the left foot to create the new direction. So, we have discussed the cross-bottom pattern, timing, and a little bit of execution. Enjoy!